It's okay. License, license plate. No. Alright, so I'm going to be adjusting these coilovers and I'm going to be raising it because it's too low right now and these are Stance GR coilovers so because these are double adjustable uh, basically ride height is separate from preload so this lower collar locks in the height so all I got to do is lock it there and see what height I'm at Thirty-one. Moving. Yeah, it's thirty-one. So I already measured before. It was only at, it was already at twenty, and the passenger side was at sixty or sixty-five. So I'm gonna make this a little bit higher, which means I have to raise it to seventy-five-ish. Four by four. Okay, so now I'm going to be installing these hub centric rings and the point of these hub centric rings is to center the wheel on the, the hub assembly as well as to distribute some of the weight so that way it takes the weight off the legs and distributes it more onto the hub. Now the reason is that there is a hub diameter on the wheel as well as the hub diameter of the actual hub. So there's this gap between here because the wheel's hub diameter is a 73 millimeter and the diameter of the hub is 66 millimeters so what you do is you buy these hub centric rings that close the gap in between them so that way when you put on your wheels they are now centered on the hub guarantee right and it also distributes the weight evenly amongst the, le the legs as well as the hub so that way there's no uneven torquing okay so pretty simple install okay.
gone a little bit better, but as you can tell, it's still not going all the way in without being pretty forceful. So I'm gonna take it out and sand it some more. So now what I'm gonna be doing is rolling the fender. But of course, because this is like a 240 and everything, every single fender has been rolled except for the driver's side rear one. So, what we're gonna do is roll only this one fender. So, as you can see here, this is how the fender used to be, like this. And then, after hitting it, it has gone to that. So that is the transition. So rather than rubbing on this area right here, it's now free to go because we have all this space. So this is the harness right here under the car. As you can see the tire basically rubbed through it. So I removed the fender in order to this wire tuck over here for the harness and then I noticed this box over here It's taking up so much space and so I go into the engine bay of course There's just a hole right there And right, there's to be a hole from the intake and I just looked it up it's supposed to be the resonator box But I was looking around and it doesn't seem to have any other hole connected to it So it's kind of pointless to be there because it doesn't even lead to anything so I'm gonna remove it. These are already loose, FYI. But uh, basically, I mean, there's nothing. There's nothing. It's just a hole into a box. I don't get it. All right, so now I'm gonna remove these stickers. Why? Well, first of all, Garage 45 is in San Jose, California. I live over 300 miles from there, so there's no point in me having this, nor have I ever been there or affiliated with them. Too slow? Well, first of all, if I am gonna go slow, it should be on the back, thereby notifying people, not on the front. All right, bro? And then lastly, random leaf. Okay, so not really digging any of this. So. We're gonna take it off. The way I'm gonna do it is using a heat gun. I'm just gonna heat it up to get the adhesive loose. Then I'm gonna take a razor and just start with one edge, work my way.
that's all good. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, get some like window cleaner and then get off all this residue. The most part, these two came out pretty good. The garage 45 sticker is still pretty sticky. Now this stuff is, this LA is totally awesome. Basically, pretty good cleaner. I mean, it gets off a lot of stuff, so I'm just gonna use this. almost forgot, I also gonna remove this stand sticker. Why? Because the last thing I wanna have on the 240 is advertising that I have a thousand dollar suspension in it. All right, so now I'm gonna be replacing the overflow tank for the coolant. Um, I just picked this up off a car at the junkyard for, I don't know, maybe like five or ten dollars, I forgot what it was. And this one is cracked, it's all gray, it doesn't look good. So, and it has a whole bunch of dirt in here. So I'm gonna just unbolt this, put this new one in, I'll be good to go. So I removed this broken bezel right there, which is cracked here, cracked over there, has a broken oil pressure gauge in it too. And it's wrapped in carbon fiber. Then I got this Crown Royal uh, shift boot off. Not really shift boot, it's like a, what is it, like a wine bottle holder I believe? Yeah. So I took that one off. I think it looks like 10 times cleaner like that, less raggedy. This one's all like old and disgusting. So, now it looks like that. Obey? How about no? This is how everything sits now. The plastic dipped NRG wood grain. Nice and clean bezel right there. Nice and clean ashtray. Shift knob mounted. And then no shift boot. Everything coming together nicely. Okay, so this is part one of the Project 240 series. I hope you enjoyed it because it's pretty fun making it. Um, part two is going to be basically all about the whole front end of the car and the suspension. Going to be redoing 
uh, a lot of the bushings and stuff, so you're going to look forward to that. Um, I'm also going to be creating a lot of how-tos on the stuff, so going into detail on what I do, because in the whole project series videos, I'm not going to really go into detail on them, in them of what I do, because otherwise it's going to take too long. So if you want to know about how to roll the fenders like I did, I'm also going to post that video up. If you want to know how to you know, tuck the harness over here under the fender in more detail, I'm going to upload that. So a lot of this stuff I'm going to go into more detail, and basically the whole Project 240 series is going to be an overview of all that I've done on the car. So I hope you like the videos and that you can keep watching. This just seems wasteful.